Clearly, Angular isn't as popular as it once was, especially considering the fact that there are a plethora of front-end single-page app libraries and frameworks that are in existence today. Additionally, there are rising technologies such as WebAssembly that are taking market share away from all of the above frameworks and libraries, albeit very slowly. But like Death, Taxes, and Taylor Swift, Angular will stick around for a while. Angular is still used by companies large and small. More typically, larger companies. But there are some companies that are not large companies that prefer to use Angular. Maybe they're into s and I don't know. But uh, aside from sadomasochism, um, the Angular skill set is still in demand and is fairly well compensated. So to that end, I am making an updated video regarding some useful extensions to the Microsoft Visual Studio Code free IDE, free as in free beer. Of course, Visual Studio Code is typically just called VS Code. Um, I'm making this video for people who are new to Angular and need to learn Angular. So, uh, and like I say, if you're into SNM and you decided to choose Angular as your first SPA framework to learn, uh, these extensions will come in handy. Okay, let's roll. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I am going to uh, tell you the name of the extension for VS Code and we're going to do a quick demo if needed. I'm not going to read to you verbatim what each one does because you can read the documentation on your own. If you don't already know, this icon here that I'm hovering on um, is the icon for extension in VS Code. Clearly I'm on a Mac, right? Um, so the first one is Angular Language Service. So here's the documentation for it. If you click on the name of the extension, it'll, it'll take you to the, uh, the, the name of the, um, the documentation for each extension. Basically, Angular Language Service is IntelliSense on steroids. Okay, it's an enhanced version of IntelliSense. And of course, you can go to definition um, a little bit more precisely than just the native VS Code version of it. Okay, uh, so this is kind of a must-have, so install that. Okay, the next one is Angular Snippet. Now, there are multiple versions of Angular Snippet. I like the one that is created by John Papa. Now, if you don't know, John Papa is a renowned instructor in the uh, JavaScript ecosystem and front-end framework, front and other front-end frameworks. The reason why I like John Papa's version is because if your team is going to use NGRX, which is one of the Redux library for Angular, the NGRX team has integrated John Papa's snippet into their own snippet. Okay, and, and as you can see here, these are the snippet for um, uh, NGRX. Okay, so let's let's do a quick demo. Now, I'm just going to throw an error because I, I already have a reducer here. But let's say I want to create a, a reducer or um, action or whatever. Okay, it'll scaffold for you. Okay, it'll, it'll do the scaffolding for you. So it's a time saver. Okay. So again, uh, that is Angular Snippet, and it's uh, John Papa's version. Okay, um, I'll go to I'll go to Angular Files in a bit. Let's let's go to uh, let's do Ang ng Angular Switcher. Okay, so please do not let the Angular Two Switcher fool you. Uh, it, it works with it works with all the version of um, Angular 
after Angular 2 thus far. I'm sorry, after, you know, 2 and above thus far, okay? So, essentially, let's say, let's say I have a, um, let's let's say I have a, uh, a component called create, okay? And I am on the, um, I am on the uh, the TS file, okay, and I wish to go to another file in the same component, right? The equivalent file in the same component. Essentially, it provides you hotkeys, okay? It provides you hotkeys. Let's do a quick demo here. So Shift Alt and O, okay? So here I'm on the TS file. I'm do Shift Alt, also known as Option. And then, oh, okay, and let's switch to the HTML file for me of the equivalent one, okay? Um, let me see here. So here are the um, the hotkeys for when you wish to go from, let's say, from TS to HTML template or from the spec file to CS file, okay? So it's very useful. It's a huge time saver. Okay, so now let's go to Angular file. So in Angular, um, you have a really nice command line interface to generate whatever components, module, whatever you want in the command line, in the terminal. If you are working in a cross-functional team and you have uh, designers, a UX designer that are working on CSS, and they're not used to um, um, using the command line, then if you have Angular file installed, you can just right click on the directory and you can generate whatever you want here, All right? See that? Components, directive, module, pipe, service, class, enum, interfaces, route for now. Okay, let's say I want to generate another component. I call it bacon and there you go. You create the whole shebang for me okay easy as that um okay the next one really doesn't necessarily have to do with angular uh but it's just more just development in general the name is again a little bit misleading but it's called es7 es7 plus this guy right here okay as you can see i already have this installed now, uh, if you're using React, if you're using Angular, you're using Vue, um, this will also work as well. It's essentially just a speed tool. I'll, I'll demonstrate. I'm going to do a quick demo here. Let me comment this out so I don't get an error. Okay, let's say I want to import action from this module. Here, this NGRX store module. I'm going to type M I G import destructuring. I'm going to say at ngrx store tap tap again action and let's say I want to do init as well tap again semicolon done okay um, you can see how that's going to be really useful right and it's the same thing uh, for importing export default so let's say here I want to for whatever reason, I want to import. Um, I want to import bacon in here, okay. Okay, done, just like that, okay. If you need more documentation on the uh, snippet and the so like the shortcuts to activate those snip, snippets uh, if you go to the documentation for that extension and you scroll down to the bottom click on the snippet it'll take you to the github repo page and you have a listing of what each shortcut snippet will do for you okay again go down to here and click on that So continuing with a few quick ones, and these are kind of self-explanatory. I won't go into it uh, too far. Um, Auto-close tag. 
I think the name is kind of obvious as to what it does. Okay. Uh, let's see, auto close, auto close. That one right there. Okay. Get that one. The name is kind of obvious what it does. It's very useful, as you can see, six, almost seven million downloads. All the rename is it's very useful as well. So get that one. Um, let's go to rainbow brackets. That one there. Okay. Um, I'll just show you what it does. Uh, let me see here. Let's go this one. Let's say you're in a really long file, okay, and you have different, well, you have nested uh, curly braces and parentheses, like like I do here. You see how it has different colors there? See how this is kind of a dark uh, reddish color and this is a green color? That'll help you if you have nested uh, parentheses and color, curly braces to identify which is which. So um, it's basically to keep keep your sanity <laughs> if, if you have nested uh, nested objects okay so so get that is very useful um let's see so rainbow brackets um the other one is called indent rainbow that one there now let me show you what rain it, it's this here right they show you your indents again this is a trivial file, right? But if you're in a, you know, a, a file with a thousand lines of code, uh, this would come in very handy. Uh, and then finally, well, not finally, but this is the penultimate one, material icon. Uh, material theme icon. Let me see here, which one did I, which one, let me see which one I install. There's so many of them. I have this one here, material material icon theme. But you have your choices there as to which one you want. This one's pretty popular, almost 12 million downloads. Basically, it's these icons here. Um, I, I like these icons, and my my dev team at work uses these icons. I actually introduced it, <laughs> so uh, so I, I I like that one. Um, okay, so finally, this one is a little bit more com uh, complicated. So there used to be something called TSLint, okay? But TSLint is now deprecated, okay? Both of these are deprecated, as you can see there. And it's been merged into, it's been merged into ESLint, which will lint your TypeScript as well. Um, and usually this, we use ESLint with, uh, with Prettier. As you can see, I, I have this installed. So usually, it's the it's up to the development team or the company engineering department as to how uh, they want to set up the rules for for linting and for prettier. Okay, if you're just learning on your own, um, then obviously just read the documentation and figure out which one is recommend uh, which rules are recommended by each respective. Um, uh, framework like Angular, so check, you might want to see how John Papa does that. For my company, we have a specific set of rules that we follow. Okay, so that's that's all. Oh, let me give you a quick bonus. Let's say you you need to use multi cursor. Let's say you want to change all the at hero on this page to at hero two. So what I would do there is would double click on the name, press Command D, Command D, D as in David, D as in Delta, for multi cursor, and keep on pressing Command D until you select all of the um, uh, the package. And then, since I'm changing at hero to at hero two, I want to go to the in of the name, right? So there you go see and then save and then escape to stop multi cursor obviously I'm getting a there's no hero too so obviously it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna you know throw an error right so let's say I want to change this back to just add hero same thing highlight the word 
Command D, Command D again to select all three, and then uh, use the arrow key to get to the end of the string. Save, Escape. Another thing that I notice people don't not aware of in VS Code is to like move a line. Let's say I want to move that import up or down. So I highlight it, and then I, I press on Option on the Mac, Option, and then the up arrow. Okay? Option and up. Option and up arrow. Okay. So hopefully that was fun uh, and useful. If you like that, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.